Guys, did you ever think those puzzle ads were fake and there's no such game? Well today, I finally found the game. Hello world and welcome to a special edition of Kimchi Robotics. Today, you can see I am in a bigger room and the reason for that is I have to fix this giant piece of shit behind me. This is the Creality CR10 version three. It's a great printer, has a massive build plate. The only problem is from day one, I've had trouble with leveling the bed plate. It seems no matter what I try to do, every time I print something or every other print, I have to continually re-level the bed. And there's a common problem well documented on the internet, especially on forums like Reddit and other places. This corner or that corner, basically one corner of the bed is constantly getting out of alignment and dropping lower than the rest of the bed. This causes massive problems when you're doing extended length prints. For example, like a Mandalorian helmet or some other Star Wars or Halo helmet, anything like that, cosplay related, or if you're just printing out, you know, a large vase. Shut up, so you can see how this can become a massive problem if you're printing something very large, which is the whole reason you bought it in the first place, something that's taller and takes a longer time to print, maybe a couple of days. For example, a Mandalorian type of helmet or Iron Man or whatever cosplay item that you can imagine, or even a castle for a diorama or your war games. This printer is infamous for getting out of alignment mid print. And the only thing that you can do is try to self adjust it by hand mid print. And that gets really, really, really tricky. So mid print, I would always find myself coming down and taking a look at the print and judging whether it was needing an adjustment or not. And I would have to come down on this corner only and readjust this wheel constantly. When I would do that, it would go back out of alignment. And the next print I had to do, I would re-level the bed. It would be completely perfect, but I would start running out of space for this little wheel right here. This wheel would be maxed out, would be all the way loose. So it, that corner would be all the way extended up and it still wasn't enough. So I thought, what the hell? What, what's the problem with this printer? What do I have to do? I looked online, people suggested to completely re-level the entire thing, and I did that. I loosened up these uh, blocks here, these screws, who cares about the terminology, but uh, yeah. So I loosened that stuff up and on the stepper motors, and I realigned it, and I had it completely level. I didn't use a bubble level, I've done that before, and the reason you don't want to do that is because your table may not be completely level. I would take blocks, and I would insert them on, on either side, equal blocks, and that would have an even distribution from the bed plate. I'd have the bed plate all the way tightened down, so that'd be completely tight on all sides, and it should be flat. A lot of people also suggest that you need to get a new build plate, a new mirror. A lot of people uh, suggest that the Creality manufactured build plates are not flat. I've ordered a backup before because I scratched the first one because I had no idea what was going on. I totally screwed it up on the first day and I have a replacement and it looks great and both sides does the same thing. So it's not a matter of it being uneven because I flipped it over onto the, you know, I, I had the textured side down, I've had the textured side up. So it's not that one side is warped. It's a completely different problem. And my suspicion is it has something to do with this side of the printer. Another thing that I noticed was I was constantly trying to readjust and tighten up the wheels that are on the sides that are holding it into place on this, uh, I believe it's called a gantry, who cares. No matter how perfect I thought I had it, it would still get that same misalignment problem. And then one day, a couple months ago, I was printing something overnight. It was a Star Wars helmet. It looks really, really amazing. That's why I love and hate this printer. It screwed up overnight. It got clogged. The extruder was completely flooded with PLA and it was a mess. I made a YouTube short a little bit while back about 3D printing while you're sleeping and how that might not be uh, a good choice for you. And being my genius self, I took a heat gun. Yes, a high grade heat gun and I put it onto the casing around the extruder and, and the hot, the hot end and it melted the plastic case around it, this blue thing. Now, the reason I did that was because I could have sworn it was aluminum or something like that. So I was just up under there doing my thing and it melted. So I ordered a new one and 
It came and I noticed immediately there was something off about it. So what are we gonna do? We're going to completely disassemble the hot end unit, the extruder, that head thing, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna completely disassemble that and I'm gonna show you what I've done over and over and over again to try and get this thing to work because I do want to realign, see if I can realign that heat block. I think it's, it's off just enough so that the prints were failing on that, that infamous end. So I, it's a double whammy. And then I'm going to reassemble it, make sure it's all looking good. And then I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to completely level the printer. And hopefully we'll get some good prints out of it and I'll show you the results. All right, there's only a few hours left in the day, so let's get to work. morning. If you haven't noticed, it's another day. A new day. That's how long it takes me to do this shit with this printer. Now I'm going to have some tea. I'm going to follow it up with some coffee. And then I'm going to level this thing. And we're going to move on with our day.
No! No! After a few hours which turned into two days, is the Creality CR10 version 3 worth the fix? Yes. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, using the least favorite filament that I had, I was able to level out this heating block that I had bought from Creality. It came pre-made, pre-assembled from the factory and I didn't check it. And that's what the problem ended up being was the nozzle was offset. It was off to the side a little bit and the block, the heating block I noticed was not perfectly level. So that's what I did. That's what I showed you. And sometimes, with, especially with these older type of printers, it, it, you spend a lot of your free time getting them dialed in just right. And then it's kind of like a car that you gotta constantly tune and maintain. Sometimes you just gotta spend a lot of money or time getting it to stay in tune. Do I recommend the Creality CR10 in 2022 and beyond? No. And the reason for that is we have some amazing new options in terms of auto leveling features and printers that can just do all kinds of stuff. This is kind of an older version type of printer and the reason I got it was because of the larger bed size. Now, if I can get a larger bed size printer that can do auto leveling, I'm sold. So that's pretty much it. I wanna let you know that I do have a product that I have been designing for the Oculus controllers. If you don't have VR, that's fine. Please tell somebody who does. Uh, I, I'm pretty proud of what I made. It was my first CAD design ever and I just taught myself. I will be having my STL files available on my site. In the future I may have the physical copies of these Oculus controllers available for sale uh, on the site. I also have three brand new Elegoo printers. Uh, they have the auto leveling feature. They're fantastic. So. Once I experienced the auto leveling in, in those you know, printers, these kind of budget printers, I was sold. I never want to get another printer that doesn't auto level and doesn't auto calibrate. So if you go on my website and you buy the STL files, you get to have them forever and you'll, it'll come with a little instructional PDF file and you'll be able to print them in the settings that you want, however fine detailed you want, however strong you want, however whatever quality you want and whatever color you want. The only thing that you need to purchase separately is a socket cap head screw that I have detailed on my site. Stay positive, stay grounded, never give up, and I'll see hey. you all. Hey, you can't do that. What the hell are you doing here? What do you think you're doing? Jeff, look, I'm busy. I'm on a roll here. I got stuff to do. You don't know anything about CAD. You're not an engineer. What? I don't think you should be doing that. I don't think you should be telling people anything about anything. I don't think you should be making anything. What do you think you're doing? It's never gonna work. Can I talk oh to your my manager? Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's it. And the garbage go. Manager. I said manager. I want a manager now. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who my father is? 
I don't know who my father is.